If we asked to find the distance traveled by a moving object in one second among the entire period of time, then which principle we can simply use to find it out effectively? If this is the question, think simply that in chapter motion, we know that we use this formula, su vat. So I hope you know that when we want to find the distance traveled by any moving object starting from an initial velocity with an acceleration, then we use S equal ut plus half at square. Okay, so from the graph also or any type of data or anything is given with initial velocity and there is if there is any acceleration, we use this principle. Okay, S equal to ut plus half at square. But if the question is that to find the distance travel in one second among the time period, then we can use another principle also and that is the th second. That on that particular time period of time and that is u plus half of a 2t minus 1 very simply how we can use it before going to explain this we need to know the concept of this entire stem that you know that something is moving from a to b simple so a to b something is moving and the required time that is t and in the meantime it traveled s amount of distance think about it so it has it has an initial velocity u it has an acceleration a and the time required that is t okay so that t can be anything if it can be like 20 minutes it can be 40 minutes it can be 25 seconds 30 seconds whatever the time is given but the question is to find in one second what does it mean suppose we assume that that the object traveled from a to b in 12 seconds think about it so that is the s t when the t is 12 second okay and now the question is what is the distance traveled by that object in 12th second then th is added that means we have to find the distance of that last one second. So we need to find the distance traveled by that object in 12 second first and then 11 second first and then deduct the value. How? Because we think that from you it came here in 11 second. So simply if this is t, so this distance this distance should be s t minus 1 and then this is the distance that we need to find that s in the last second and this last second distance we can find using this formula how because now you think that in t second in t second when i mean suppose in t second the s t is the formula that is u t plus half a t square we know it simply okay but what if the previous second distance that s t minus 1 if this is 20 this should be 19 if this is 22 this should be 21 because we are trying to find the distance traveled by that object in last second. So, S T minus 1, it should be U T minus 1 plus half A T minus 1 square. So, now if you can think about it that U T minus U, I'm just simplifying the equation that half a, this is t minus 1 whole square is an equation simply looks like t square minus 2t plus 1 so that should be ut minus u plus half a t square minus a t plus half a so this is the simplified second equation 
Now, what if we need to find the th second, the distance? We simply to find the th second distance to, to deduct this one. That is, because we are just, what is the purpose of this equation? To find the distance traveled by that object in one second. Which second? That is given in the question paper. It can be like 11th second, it can be 20th second. If the question is the distance traveled by in 20th second, we need to find the distance of 20 second minus 19 second. Same as here. And that is why if this is 20, this should be 19. If this is 40, it should be 39. Whatever the, what is the given data depends on it. So, we have ST that is, we have ST that is UT plus half AT square. Simple? Okay. Then minus, ST minus 1 that is this one, a bigger one. So, UT that should be UT minus U plus half of AT square minus AT and then plus half A. So, simply what I did, I just did it, these two equations. Now to find it out that UT plus, okay, half AT square. Now, CC minus UT plus U minus half AT square, okay, plus AT and then minus half of A. Now you see that half, I mean which quantities we can actually remove, this one minus this one and again this one minus this one. So we have what? We have U plus AT minus half A. Now we can also simplify this one, that is U plus, if I make it 2, that should be 2 AT, okay, yes, and this is A. And now if I divide it, plus half, then half A, then it should be, it should be 2T minus 1. And that is the equation that we actually wrote it earlier. So very simply now you can see we just what we did. Nothing. This is very simple. We, 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 we found that S. On that T, what is the T? That is given data based on the question paper. So we simply use this formula if we find the distance traveled by uh, in one second. In that one second is not mean, this meaning that, that, that one second, that is in between the time travel. So it was moving from A to B according to our stem that 12 seconds was required and we did it the 11th second. So we find the distance traveled by that object in 12th second and that is u plus half a 2t minus 1. Now we can think and we can actually apply this one into a mathematical formula. Now think about the previous steps. According to the stem, if I think that uh, something is moving in 10 meter per second initial velocity with 4 meter per second square, 4 meter per second square acceleration. So if I think this is 4 meter per second square, simplify, and this is 10 meter per second. So same way, the question is what is the distance traveled by that object in 12th second? So now the question is I need to find that 12th second distance. So what I need to do, I need to find the distance traveled by that object in 12 second and minus 11 second. So what to do? So S in 12 second, that is UT plus half AT square. Okay, so U is 10, T is 12 second, half A is 4 meter per second square, T is 12 square. Done. So that is 120 plus 1 12 square. So what would be? It's 2. So 12. Now I need a calculator. I think this is 1 
144. So 144 times 2, that should be 188, I think. Okay. And if this is the equation, then what to do? Uh, 12 square. Yes, 2. That is 288. So this is the 288. And the total is 408, I think. Yes, plus 120. That is 408 meter. And now if you find the 11 meter distance, that is ut. Now that should be 10 into 11 plus half, same like before, and 11 square. Now what do you think? That is uh, 110 plus this is 121 times 2 so 121 times 2 that is 242 okay so now this should be 352 meter so now if we just find it out that previously it was 408 meter minus this is 352 meter 352 meter so if I just find it out that 408 minus 352 that is 56 meter so this is the simplest way we find the distance traveled by that object according to this data in one second that is what the last seconds but what if we did the formula we use that the 12th second that is u plus half a 2t minus 1 we simply use it in a minute that is u 10 that is given half that is a that is 4 okay and then 2t is 12 it was asked minus 1 now you think 10 plus this is 2 times 24 minus 1 that is 23 so this is 46 and this is 10 56 meters so now you see, simply we can find the distance traveled by that object in one second. Which seconds? Mentioned on the question. So the way we did it earlier is the easiest way and this is even more easier. So I hope you can use this one formula in your question paper if you find relevant questions from this chapter of motion. So students of English version, Scarlet College and O level, those are watching this tutorial if you understand this i mean perfectly please let me down i mean uh, let me know in, in a in a in youtube content and please um if you find anything uh, that you should uh, discuss with me in your uh, study time then please let me know in the comment section so i'm coming up with next type of uh, creative solutions from this chapter take care stay well bye